Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a chat spammer, uh, just a really simple one, uh, which spams text. So you're going to click or open even Microsoft Visual Basic, and you want to go to New Project, and you want to work. Go to Windows Phone Application. I'm going to call mine Chat Spammer, as that is what we're making. And then um, once that's loaded up, you're going to be brought to your form. Okay, I'm going to try to do this really quick. I'm going to adjust it to your size, I'm going to call mine chat spammer, uh, change the low icon, I like icon um, to be something with MSN, so I'm going to go to icon archive, which is there, and then you're going to want to scroll down, and then you're going to want to click on application actually, application icons, and then scroll down to where it says MSN buddy, which is here. And then it gives you loads of MSN icons. Uh, I'm going to download all of them. I quite like them all. Alright, now that's open. I'm going to open up. Allow it. I'm going to extract it to my icon folder. This program's WinRAR, by the way. I won't put a link in because it's got nothing to do with the tutorial. Um, okay, and I'm going to go to icon. Uh, then find my icons folder. Go on to MSN Buddy Icons, ICO, and then click this little butterfly thing. Okay, so now that's done. Uh, you're going to need a start button, so a button, and then button two. And you're going to need a text box, which is here. You're going to need two text boxes actually. Um, and you're going to need another button. Now I think about it. Okay. So you're going to want button three. I'm going to call mine set interval. I'm going to call my button one start. And I'm going to call my button two stop. Uh, I'm going to have two labels. One say in text as such, and then one say in interval or int even, uh, like so. Right now, now you've done that. Um, I'm not going to tidy it up. You can, because uh, I'm trying to do this quick. You're going to have to add two timers. So if you scroll down to where it says all or general. Uh, where is it all? I'm missing a load of stuff. Oh well, if you go on timer, you're going to need two timers. And I call timer timer one, I'm going to change the name to intro. And then I'm going to call timer two, I'm going to change the name to spammer. Okay, with intro and spammer, you have the intervals, which is how long uh, a timer a timer is even. So what you're going to have to do uh, on this say 1000 in the interval box would equal 1 second so 10,000 would equal 10 seconds so I my intro to be 5 seconds, so I'm going to set that to 5000 and what the intro is going to be well how this is going to work, you're going to put your text in here what you want to spam and you're going to put how often you want to spam it but obviously you don't want it to start spamming as soon as you click start otherwise it will spam one of these boxes which will crash your program so you want it to start and then it will wait 5 seconds and then, then it will start spamming so you're going to set intro to 5000 interval and don't set spammer uh, right so what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to make sure that your int text box is called text box 2 it can be text box 1 but uh, you just got to remember which one it is and then you want to want to click, double click start and then you wanna, you're going to want to put uh, intro dot start equals true and basically oh yeah no without the equals true you're just going to have intro dot start okay so um, basically what this means as soon as you click start it's going to start the intro so then you're going to want to double click intro which is down here and then you're going to want to click intro dot stop and then you're going to have uh, spammer 
dot start. Alright, so what's going to happen is it's going to press start, it's going to start the intro, once 5 seconds is up, it's going to stop itself and then it's going to start this timer. Okay, but this timer doesn't have a time, what it does is 100 by default, but you're going to want to have it changed here. So you're going to double click set interval and you're going to want to click um, if button 3 dot enable equals true, then actually no, you're not even going to want to do that. You're going to want to put uh, set no, timer, I mean even spammer dot interval equals text box 2 dot text. So what that means is it's going to set the interval here of spammer to whatever number you put in this box when you click this. So say you put in a thousand, that means it'll spam every second. So you click set interval and it'll set the spammer. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to double click spammer and then you want to go on to send keys dot send and then you're going to want to open a bracket and then in there you want to want to put text box one dot text and close the bracket. So this is going to send whatever whatever's in text box one dot text. Okay. So at the moment you're starting it, you've got an intro of five seconds and then it starts the spammer. And the spammer interval is going to be whatever you tell it to be. So you're going to want it to stop. So you want to double click stop, and then where is this button here? And then you want to put intro uh, dot stop, and then you want to put spammer dot stop. Okay, um, that's it. That's the very basic of it. I'll show you how it works. You're going to want to debug it, uh, like so. Hopefully it will work. Yeah, and then you're going to want to open a notepad to test it. Uh, I wouldn't spam it too fast. I've got a powerful computer so I can set my interval quite low. So I'm going to set my interval to 10 which means um, it's going to be spamming at a thousandth of a second or something. I'm not sure. And then in your text you're going to put whatever you want to spam. And you're gonna, so I'm going to put test. Um, but at the moment if you, look, if you watch so you wait 5 seconds, click where you want it to spam and wait and then it will start. It will just spam it across like that I'm going to stop it and see it stops. Okay, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to spam downwards. So say I was in MSN or Facebook chat, something like that, and then I wanted it to spam constantly. Then you're going to want to put enter um, in in a little squiggly bracket. I'm not sure what they're called. Inverted brackets, I think. Uh, and which and what that means is that's a computer's command to press enter. So it's going to press, it's going to do test, and it's going to press enter. So it'll send. Uh, so if I start that now, then you should see. Yeah, so that's it, and uh, it'll go really quick. You can add more than one thing. This enter is enter uh, enter. So if I do this, if I move that, let's just say this is a test uh, over and over and over and over and over again. Well. This is a test, this is a test, yeah, there you go, so it works. Um, yeah, that's all, so uh, have fun, and subscribe, comment, and rate.